What's going on guys? My name is John Elder from CodingMe.com and in this video, we're going to build out our calculator with a little bit more functionality using Kinter and Python. All right, in the last video, we built out the calculator to do some basic addition. So you can do adding, equal to, clear, all the buttons work, but there's no additional functionality. There's no division, multiplication, or subtraction. So that's what we're gonna focus on in this video. But before we get started, if you like this video and wanna see more like it, be sure to smash the like button below, subscribe to the channel, and be sure to check out codemy.com where I have dozens of courses with hundreds of videos that teach you to code. Use coupon code YouTube to get $22 off membership. That's all my courses, videos, and books for a one-time fee of just $27, which is insanely cheap. So, all right, what do we have so far? We've got, like I said, the addition. Let's go ahead and close this. Well, actually, let's bring this back up real quick. So now, when we go, say, 5 plus 2, we hit the equal to sign, it adds. Well, the equal to sign knows to add because it's the only thing to do. So we're saying just add. But we're going to build out different buttons for division, subtraction, multiplication. And when that happens, so if we go 2 uh, times 5, for instance, and then hit equal, how will the equal to button know we want to actually multiply or divide or subtract or add or whatever. That's the real big thing we need to look at in this video. And it's pretty easy. We've already sort of seen the solution when we use these globals. We're going to do the same thing. We're going to create a new global and we're going to pass addition. We're going to pass multiplication. We're going to pass whatever it is we're doing for each one. And then we'll do an if statement just to go through the equal to button. And it'll say, if it's addition, do this. If it's subtraction, do that, etc. So before we do that, we need to build a bunch of more buttons. So I'm just gonna copy this add, and let's just come down here and we need three more. So let's call one of them subtract, and then multiply, if I can, <laughs> oh my Lord, what happened there? Multiply, there we go. <laughs> and then divide. And then up here, we need a new command. We need um, button, let's call it button subtract, and call this button multiply, and call this button divide, right? Okay, so we need to also change these. So instead of the addition sign, we need subtraction. Uh, let's use this star for multiply and for divide. Like that? No, let's go that. That's the sort of divide sign, right? So, okay, that looks pretty good. So now we need to come down here to our grid system. And let's see, where were we? Button equal to, that's row five. So it looks like we need um, button underscore what? Uh, subtract, maybe? Dot grid. And then we want row what, row six, I guess, and then column uh, equals zero, no column span. So I'm just gonna copy this two times, and instead of subtract, we have what? The next one, let's go multiply, and this one will be divide. So row six, column one, and column two. Okay, so let's save this. Oh, wait, first we need to get an error otherwise we need to create these button subtract button multiply and button divide um, functions so let's just go button subtract for now let's just go return and same thing here well actually we can just copy this whole thing two more times instead of subtract we want multiply and here what divide about right okay so let's save this give this a run just to see that you know oops actually we need to close the old one there we go run it again oops button subtract invalid syntax or did, oh <laughs> got the define it's friday people that's, that's how we that's how we do friday here in vegas all right save now let's run this all right so Okay, this doesn't look great. This needs to be a bit bigger. Let's just do that. So the subtract one needs to be a little bigger. So 
subtract, where are we at? Subtract padding, let's go 40. Save this. That's just sort of what you do with Kinter. You kind of mess around. Okay, it's still not quite, so let's go 41. And there we go. So save this. Cancel. Run. Okay, so eh, it's not great. And there's a lot of space there. So let's add one and one to each of these. So instead of 39, let's go 40. And let's go 40 for this one too. Save this. Run it again. All right, that's looking much better. These things are lining up mostly. Let's go one more for the divide one just to see. 41. Lucky number 41. So pull this up. Okay. That's looking pretty good. I think we'll just leave it like this. Now these buttons don't do anything yet. We need to actually build that functionality into it. So first, let's go up here to our button add, right? So here, let's create our new global. We want a global and we want to call it math. And for button add, we want math to equal, let's say addition, right? So everything else, pretty much stays the same, right? So let's come up here and let's just copy all of this to our subtract. And here, instead of addition, let's call this subtraction. But everything else is gonna stay the same, right? I think so. Finally, not finally, but for multiply, let's go multiplication, right? And then for division, Let's call this division. Okay, so I think that will work. Now we need to sort of play around with our, what do we call it? Let's look here, button click. Uh, what do we got? What's, it's the equal to button equal. So where is our button equal? There it is. So. Here, this is what it used to be, right? We just take this number, which probably will stay the same. And then we delete, which probably will stay the same. And then we insert the two numbers together, F num, which is the first number, and then whatever the second number is. And before we just had this add, right? Obviously we can't do that anymore because depending on which button is clicked, division, multiplication, subtraction, or addition, it'll do those things. So how do we do that? Well, we need a basic if statement. So very simple, just if math equals, remember two equal to signs for conditional statements. Uh, and then what's the first one? Let's call addition. Then if that's the case, we want to do what we did before, right? Just add the two together and then pop it up on the screen, right? So that seems to work. So let's just copy this a few more times. Oops, there we go. One, two, three, four. Does that seem right? So addition, let's call this one subtract, subtraction, if I can type. <laughs> Multiplication. And you can see how the text editor is filling this in and division and we don't need this one one too many okay so subtraction we're going to subtract for multiplication we're going to multiply and for division we're going to divide all right so is that gonna work i think that'll work let's fire this thing up and take a look let's see what i did wrong almost certainly something so Let's go two plus three equals five. Yes. Let's go two times five equals 10. Yes, that works. Let's go 10 minus three equals seven. That seems to work. And let's go 10, oops, clear. 10 divided by two 
equals five. And notice it's 5.0, it's converting this to uh, a float, which is kind of weird, but necessary because look, if you clear this and go 10 divided by three, right, the answer is 3.33335. It's definitionally a, a decimal number, so it converts it to a float for us, which is kind of cool. So, all right, I think that works, right? Now this is ugly, right? I understand that. We didn't put a lot of thought into making it look good, but you can do that. Go through here, make the buttons different sizes, different colors. You know, I like to pull up the calculator that comes with Windows, right? So maybe as we haven't talked about how to make menu stuff, maybe we'll talk about that in the coming up videos here, but maybe try and make it look like this if you can, for the most part, right? See if you can do it. There, look, there's other things here. There's um, square root, there's percentage, looks like fractions, all kinds of stuff. So maybe as an exercise, see if you can make yours look like this and act like this. That'd be kind of cool, right? So I'll leave that to you. I'm more of a coder guy, not really a design guy. So mine looks kind of stupid, but I think you understand the functionality and how to do these things with the code. And this is a really simple way. There's probably lots of different ways you can tweak this equal to button to work, but just off the top of my head, I was like, oh, I'll just do an if statement. That'll be quick and easy, right? Uh, so that's what we did. Created our global and uh, just kind of works. So that's all for this video. If you liked it, be sure to smash the like button below, subscribe to the channel and check out codemy.com where you can use coupon code YouTube to get $22 off membership. So you pay just $27 to access all my courses, hundreds of videos and the PDF versions of all my best selling coding books from Amazon. Join over 50,000 students learning to code just like you. My name is John Elder from codemy.com. We'll see you in the next video.